chosen ones, empaths, I analyzed something that happened recently, right? And recently, I don't know why, but I started to feel guilty for things I'd done to the narcissist out of nowhere, right? And I've dealt with this before, but this is after a long time. I don't think of the narcissist. Now, I don't know if it's them thinking of me, which is triggering me to ruminate for a second about them. But all I'm saying is to you, you need to cut it out of the root. When you start feeling guilty for things you've done to the narcissist, you need to understand one thing. You've been put through abuse, which made you react. A lot of what we went through was reactive abuse. So many of us went through reactive abuse. We're wound up, we're devalued, we're manipulated, we're this, we're that. And then one day we act out of character. And as empaths do, we feel guilty and start feeling bad for how we, how we handled a situation or how we done something, right? But nah, it's not the case. We don't need to feel guilty about that. Trust me, we was actually provoked to react in that way. We was provoked a lot, right? So it just come to mind this topic because I actually went through the process of literally feeling guilty. And as I said to you, even when I make these videos, I don't necessarily think about that ex-narcissist as such. But I had this occurrence happen recently. I think it was it was yesterday, the day before. I can't remember, but I had this wave come over me of feeling guilty about things that I'd done. And I, look, we're not perfect, right? But they done so much bad to us. It's literally unreal. They done so much bad to us. So our bits of behavior is justified it is actually justified don't ever allow yourself to be feeling guilty because this is how they keep their hooks in afterwards you know right this is a long time after i was in the relationship with the narcissist why am i thinking about feeling guilty for the narcissist it turned out to be a video idea so i used it but it does, if you've got a heart, like, if you've been through reactive abuse, you'll know what I'm on about because this reactive abuse can end people in jail, you know, or psych wards or all sorts of places because people act out of character and there is people in psych wards and prison now that have reacted through reactive abuse. Yes, they may have done something, um... Man, it like bad, but I'm not excusing the behavior, but I'm trying to say they actually bullied and provoked leading up to this occurrence when they react. Some of us go into supernova, you know, you go into a supernova and you berate the narcissist. This, that, and the other. Don't feel guilty. A lot of what's happening to you is, is empowerment, you know. Times when you reacted, you stood your ground. We'd been beaten and beaten and beaten for weeks, you know. Maybe even physically in your situation, but I'm saying psychologically we've been beaten as well through like a long time. So then when we react one day, they call us out on it. And it stays as a memory with you where you feel like, ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have handled that that way. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But as I said, cut out the root. Don't think about these lot and feeling guilty for stuff. Because these lot, ultimately, um, they feel some self-absorbed kind of regret. You know, they feel kind of regret, but they're self-absorbed. It's like, Oh, my situation hasn't worked out with the new supply. So um, I feel like, you know, I want to go backwards. Like it, it, it's a weird kind of regret with them, you know, but we actually put a lot of heartfelt emotions 
into feeling guilty, you know, stuff they can't even comprehend, right? But just maybe you lot in the comment section are going to say, Zion, why the hell are you feeling guilty after this amount of time? I, I'm just being honest. I'll be honest. I'll be transparent in my videos. I'm telling you this happened to me recently. So if it happened to me, it must be happening to someone out there. And if this one someone listens to this video, then my job's done. Because maybe this topic doesn't appeal to you, but maybe you're not even there yet. That's what I'm saying. Because the longer that you're without them and you go through the healing process, you do go through different stages of emotions. You know, anger, hatred, uh, revenge. You, you go through the cycle of emotions. Now, I'm not saying I'm going through a cycle. I just had a brainstorm, like a, a, wave, of, a wave of information come across to me, making me feel guilty. Maybe it's a devil's whisper. Maybe it's something to knock me off balance, you know? Make me self-deprecate, make me put myself down. This is what I'm saying. They can still have effect of you over a very long time because they do make us remember them, you know? They do make us remember them. But, you know, there's, I don't feel sorry for them now because what they done to me, you just got to look at what they done to you, you know? What this one done to me literally crossed so many boundaries um, and I would never take them back ever in my life. So the guilt was just from my own personal, because I've actually changed so much since then as well. I've actually become a better person and I've advanced. I think if we saw these people today, if you've been years apart now, you'd be shocked, you know, so, you know what I mean? If you actually looked at one of these social medias, I know a lot of us haven't, some of us haven't done that for a very long time. Some of us are doing that now, looking at their social medias, but I haven't looked at the social medias for a very long time. I think I'd be shocked, you know? I think they must be haggard by now, some of us that have been years apart, because they haven't been having that potent supply. But, you know, it is a factor that when we think about stuff, it's because other people think about us and stuff like that. Everything is connected. This whole world is connected. We act like we're divided. You know, we are divided and conquered. But the world is in the spiritual realm, all connected. We are all one people, you know. And when you form bonds with people and you have soul ties and stuff like that, then it's like an information gateway where information can travel back and forth. That's what I believe. I thought I severed it, <clears throat> but I had a thought, you know, I think is my heart. I always feel guilty for things that I do wrong to people. It's part of the empath because we put ourselves in those people's shoes. But with the narcissist, they don't deserve it because the abuse they put us through is unreal. It's unspeakable amounts of abuse they literally put us through. So we can never tolerate that. We can never tolerate that type of behavior, you know? So just beware for those of you that are fresh in it. You might be raging with the narcissist now. You might be raging, seeing red. But guilt comes in. Guilt comes in <laughs> and it's how they catch us off guard, you know. If they catch us off guard feeling guilty for them on the wrong day when they hoover and we play back into their hands, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video. But I'm saying we don't need to do that, you know. That's why I just cut it out the root. I thought this thought is foreign. I shouldn't be thinking this, you know. It made me question why I received the thought made me understand why I'd received the thought. But just understand that you will go through the process of feeling guilty. Some of you that are going through divorce, etc. You will go through these periods. And this is why it's all about the inner work you do in yourself to make you understand and be strong in yourself and in your decisions. 
to not get sucked back into the world of the narcissist. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.